New Orleans is special, much like many other cities because of the people, the residents, the culture, the dynamics, the diversity, the tolerance, the understanding, the resiliency. New Orleans is that unique city that most people dream and fantasize to come to as a destination. And this is literally the birthplace where jazz and culture and all that is associated with New Orleans has brought pride. And we're happy to be here to continue that tradition. New Orleans is so uniquely set in that you have um, what you're going into the day to handle and then what you're actually leaving the day of handled. Um, it fluctuates, it is dynamic, it's ever changing, it's event upon event upon event. And if we're really thinking through the predictability is the unpredictability, it is no more punctuated and emphasized in a city like New Orleans. We're certainly um, a battle-tested city, and although we've been through a lot of disasters in the last two years, I think that um, the city government is really well prepared for uh, for what we've been through and what we might face next. I think just in my uh, tenure here, we've had at least four and a half disasters. Uh, we've had uh, floods, we haven't had fires, we've had cyber attacks, uh, we've had a really bad Mardi Gras, um, and we've of course had a pandemic, um, and New Orleans has shown through through all of it. I think at this point, nothing will surprise any of us. Leadership is everything in times of crisis. You can't tell anybody to do anything. Um, you have to ask them to follow you to what you need done. You know, the great American philosopher Michael Tyson once said that everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And I think that, you know, that's really true, is that we can have a fair amount of contingency plans, recovery plans, we can try to plan for everything, but ultimately you need people that are going to be able to execute those plans, but also be flexible, you know, once they've been hit in the face to start working, uh, you know, independently and towards a new goal. December 2019, the city of New Orleans was victim of a ransomware cyber attack. Uh, it pretty much devastated our technology infrastructure. And because we were so dependent on our technology, it brought our city operations to a halt. What we knew was we had to completely rebuild our infrastructure, computers, servers, all of the networking. Uh, and we really wanted to build back stronger and better. Going through a, a cyber attack, going through a pandemic, really um, re-institutionalize some of the, the vital needs for government's role in everybody's life. Everything that we did during the pandemic was really oriented to supporting the small and medium-sized businesses in, in New Orleans, whether it was the PPP loan, the EIDL loans that we all know so much about, um, and many others that our small businesses and medium businesses had access to those resources. We received great support from the city and a lot of resources and tools to help us sustain as a business. That's one of the great things that uh, I can contribute to the, the city. Um, they've been helpful in allowing us to um, still um, open at a pace that is conducive to us to get to sustainability. And as a business, I wouldn't want to be in any other place. Oh, the city of New Orleans have supported me tremendously. I mean, just in getting this open, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, being able to open this in the middle of COVID, um, one of the things that the city of New Orleans did is that they really streamlined the permit processing. And they've just been in phenomenal in working with myself and my team uh, and uh, operations and funding and grant opportunities, um, community involvement. The city has come out tremendously and they've been very, very supportive. And I'm very proud and happy to be here and supported by the city of New Orleans. A really important role for any city government in a time of crisis is being able to communicate directly with their residents um, to let people know how they can keep their families safe and what resources are available to them. We just experienced a Category 4 hurricane here in New Orleans during a pandemic, which certainly complicates all kinds of things related to response and recovery. NOLA Ready is our public information campaign um, for emergency preparedness. We really invest in our text alert system. We've got uh, over 250,000 subscribers, which is about two-thirds of our population who are receiving our text alerts. And um, in the last storm, Hurricane Ida, we as the city government were able to send out texts letting people know uh, you know things about the emergencies and then of course in the days that followed this storm we were sending resource information and ongoing recovery activities. One of the goals of, of any administrator should always be the long-term health of the city and ultimately what we're trying to do is continue to bolster and uh, ensure that New Orleans does maintain success. 
in New Orleans, I think opportunity is is uh, systemic. It's uh, we. Uh, look at uh, everything that we do through a lens of opportunity. We are the most resilient city in the country. We know how to respond to disaster, um, but we also know that we need to be a lot more than that and think about how we uh, make disasters less disruptive for our businesses and residents. And so we're thinking every day about how we deliver resources, how we uh, you know, support our business community and our residents to make sure that they're getting all the services that they need in order to come out of the disaster much stronger than they were before.